Hi everyone. Today we will see the topic of asset procurement process. Asset. I hope everyone is aware about the asset. So, uh, if uh, anybody is having doubt, uh, let me define the asset first of all. See, any of the organization, they have their building, like uh, they have their systems, they have their table, chair, and whatever the things is uh, comes under the asset itself. So. we can say that how do we purchase the asset see and uh, we have uh, we'll see that what are the accounting document will generate at the time of migo and uh, if anybody have have guessed that what kind of document will generate or generate or not at the time of migo please uh, do your please pause the video and comment me in the comment box so first of all let me start so basically what i will do i will start from the uh very basics like uh, first of all i will create the purchase requisition then i will create the po then good receipt then myro so this kind of this will be the, this will be the process i will follow right now so for everyone knows that for uh, creating of uh, purchase requisition we do have the t code of me51n so i will uh, start with the t code me51 and see i have made the in the name of z cap uh, uh, pr document type is z cap in the name of purchasing document see i am purchasing the asset so what i have to write over here that a account assignment category will be a that means what we are purchasing the asset then only it will allow allow us that's my material code and let me uh, check i am purchasing the 10 quantities and uh, what will be what will be the plant i have created the gp02 is my plant the storage location as a tasking storage location also first of all it is asking asset so see i'll have to enter the asset that means in which asset code it will move Level three that I have already created. If anybody is having doubt regarding the asset, how to generate the asset, just comment me in the comment box. In the next video, I will definitely upload with the ERP point is the requisitioner that he has requested for the same and the valuation price is. Let's suppose the valuation price is fifteen hundred. I have entered and let's check it out uh, whether it is working or not. Is there any any issue? Uh, there is no issue with. and the release strategy also triggered so what i have to do right now first of all i'll have to save before saving let me open the sticky file uh, sticky notes so that you know uh, so let's save it now pr has been created with the account assignment category a just copy and pr number equal to this the pr now what i have to do i have to release the pr the same pr how to release the pr slash n me 54 n we do have the t code slash n me 54 n uh, through this way we can release the pr here it is and now what i have to release and again i have to release that i have already created the release strategy for that sake uh, uh, for the pr i have already uploaded a video for pr release strategy and for the po i have not yet uploaded and if you do need the uh, release strategy on the po please uh, do a comment on the over the comment box i will definitely make a video over the uh, release strategy on po also so now see i have created the pr and next i have released the i have released the pr now what i have to do with the reference of this particular pr i have to create a po so let's uh, let's start uh, with the t code slash n me 21n we do have the t code of me 21n to create the po here also we'll select the capital po that i am uh, creating the uh, you know uh, capital i will create the po with the reference of the pr so purchase requisition 
whatever the requisition number i have created just i need to paste it here and just execute it and adopt see the uh, material and the detail whatever i have maintained over there had has uh, has came has been came over here and i will enter the vendor that i have created over here that's my vendor i have created and uh, one of the most important point that i would like to inform you see when i will enter the freight charge in this a particular po at the time of maintaining the freight charge system will uh, adopt the freight charge at the time of miro in case of single asset but if i will assign with the multiple asset i will show you right now just i'll copy it and i will paste see the five quantity and the five quantity uh, let me check it the condition might be there's having no freight condition has been applied over here so uh, let me check it out here whether the freight condition condition has been applied or not yeah the freight value is zero right now what i will do i'll show you the message let's check it out uh 2500 would be the cost of FRB2 is not allowed as this condition. Okay, might be the condition has been not yet maintained. Okay, no issue. Two five zero zero. Let's check it out over here. See what the message has been say that no delivery cost can be posted in case of multiple account assignment. So don't be confused at the time of doing the MIRO. If the freight condition will not be come out in the MIRO, that means. the simple that means that the multiple account assignment has been maintained here so for showing that just i have uh, did this so otherwise i will post in a if i have to maintain the you know uh, single uh, single uh, that means the if i'll post the po in the single asset so it will uh, consider the freight condition also and here i have to select the single account assignment see if i will select the multiple account the distribution by the quantity basis or distribution percentage basis that means the quantity will be distributed but in case but that uh, freight condition will not be come out in the micro that's one of the most important thing that uh, I, i i wanted to inform each and every one and see that will be the uh, interview question that uh, interviewer definitely he will ask if he will go with a 2 to 3 years of experience that's a uh, similar thing is there anything let's check it out is there anything i have to maintain no there is no message during issue and now i have to save it so what i have created a po now what i have to do in the po what i have to do in the po uh, am i here let's release the po first so for releasing the po we do have the t code me 29n release release and release and release and now save see the po has now we have created the pr with the reference of uh, that pr we have created the po now the po has been released now what i have to do see i will show you the standard gate entry process also in this procurement process see the uh, video is little long but uh, don't worry i will see you the uh, uh, see the important points whatever the uh, interviewer may ask you uh, for your interview in the interview so slash n m i g o for standard gate entry process what we used to do we used to receive the material goods received against the purchase order see against the purchase order with the you know uh, movement type is 103 that means what the goods whatever i will receive it will directly go to the go to my block stock see the delivery note i will mention test 123 and the header text also i will mention test 123 and the condition has been came over here see 
now here you do not get the option of uh, the storage location why because you are not putting the material in any specific storage location it will directly go to the uh, block stock that's the reason and uh, uh, now let's uh, you know uh, yeah click item okay now we have to check whether anything any issue is, any any issue is this there is no issue and now post see the 103 movement type i have did that means the material has been came and we have uh, received the material in our block stock see you can ask me that why don't we receive the material in our own stock like um, with the movement type of 103 101 see why because we are not putting the material directly in uh, to our unrestricted stock first of all we are doing its gate entry process like first of all we will um, receive the material in our block stock then i will release that particular uh, particular uh, you know material from release to our unrestricted now what i have to do in the migo release the gr from the block stock so this was the our uh, material document last it has been generated yeah and click on enter if i'll click see all the thing has been came and the movement type we can check it out right now we have to fill the story location also see that means receive the material from uh, we are releasing the material from the uh, you know uh, asset, uh, we are releasing the asset from block stock and now it will go to the unrestricted use now what i'll have to do just click on item okay whether it is okay or not or is there any so just check and okay and now post so in the 103 uh, movement type there is no accounting document will generate and uh, let's check it out whether the accounting document has been generated in 103 or not uh, 105 or not as i have told you that uh, please pause the video and comment it out whether the accounting document will generate or not so let me clear and uh, let's check it out over here that display right the same we are displaying and the accounting document fi document let's check it out In every uh, you know procurement process, we have to check it out whether the uh, accounting or uh, accounting document is being generated or not. Because in every interview, interviewer will definitely ask, okay, this is the procurement process like a standard, like import doc, import doc, import process. So what are the accounting entry we will generate or what are the process how you used to do? Because import is a little different. See in the FI document, I have clicked. So what some message has been replied? There is no subsequent document. Uh, document account uh, document found in accounting see th that means what there is no accounting document will generate it will also consider as a non valuated in the non valuated what will happen it uh, in the non valuated also there is no accounting document is used to generate at the time of migo here also there is no accounting document used to generate in the migo itself when i used to uh, receive the material in our unrestricted stock and uh, for the asset why it is not because we are not uh, uh, in the asset it is not going to uh, stock up it is directly uh, you know posted in the asset uh, related to their cost center right now what i have to do i'll have to do the myro and we have to copy the po and i have to enter the po here so what i have told you for i have posting the material with the single line item uh, with the single asset that's the reason the freight value has came if i used to post the material against I, if i will post the material against the multiple asset then in case the freight condition will not be come over here right so what was the condition g6 g6 is the actually condition right now and uh, there is no issue calculate the tax or after the tax deduction how much amount is coming just copy and just paste it over here right and uh, now let's simulate it we'll check it out the differences what are the differences is coming now till now it is okay and uh, we can post it or we can if i wanted to uh, post the freight value also we can post it out the freight value first of all i'll i'll, I'll have to check it out what uh, what was the freight value right now <coughs> here it is the condition and what was the freight value 
टू फाइव जीरो जीरो वॉज द फ्रेड वैल्यू टू फाइव जीरो जीरो फॉर ऑल द टेन लाइट आइटम्स राइट नो हाउ मच द टोटल क्वांटिटी है हाउ मच द टोटल अमाउंट आई हैव टू इंटर सी यू कैन चेक Let's simulate it right now. Now, see the ninety-six thousand nine hundred credited and debited, and uh, the accounting is going to be balance in the cost center against account assignment category K. What is a K actually? We can say the vendor against the vendor. How much ninety-six thousand nine hundred, and against the asset clearing how much eighty thousand. Against the A, we can check it out. A means asset. Asset and S means GL account. That the against the GL account, how much uh, GST is going to pay? The fourteen thousand four hundred. And as I can say, the asset clearing, that means the two thousand five hundred. What was the freight charge? Is also going to post against the asset only. So right now, so it uh, till now it was uh, good, and uh, everyone has understood the process, complete process of asset procurement. So I hope. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please hit on the like button, and please do subscribe our channel and share with your friends so that you will get uh, the notification while I upload the new videos. Okay, thank you.